Hello and welcome to the CSGO demo analysis videos. This is episode 3 in the series and I'll be doing Mr. Blue today. He's from Netherlands, Golden Over 2, Map Inferno and he wants me to look at rounds 2, 3 and 5. The questions that he has for myself is round 2, he has an MP7 and he killed two guys and then died. How could he have survived longer? So maybe positioning we might want to look at and maybe potential grenades to help him further. And then round three and more. What's the best way to hold balcony and apartments in general on Inverno on CT side? So we're going to have a look at that and I'll provide my feedback once I've had a look at them. So we'll start on round two. And you've got a nice business class USP there, looks pretty cool, I've never seen that one actually. It's very nice. Right. So you take a while to buy. The mixed buy is clearly something wrong with um, just a potential just kind of skill I guess, but like, you know, you've got FAMAS for MP7, M4, very dangerous, FAMAS is fine. Um, but yeah. So, rule one, make sure you're not AFK. Make sure you straight into the round. If you're playing the game, play the game. Don't be AFK. So, you eventually back into it. There's buy up time. And you buy an MP7 with 5.7. Cool. That's fine. So, you move into it. You position yourself along mini pit. And come over. Interesting. Yep, headshot box is fine. Your position here is absolutely fine. So you got yourself good there. This is the best optimal position I would hold personally. Moving over to metal, you're exposing yourself. Definitely, yeah, that's fine. Here now, you need to be hiding. Definitely need to be hiding, so. Aggressing a player like this is where you're going wrong. They need to come to you. The bomb is down as you can see on the map. So jumping on this position is exposing yourself as a player. You're just instantly going to get shot out basically. And for that you got punished. So they knew where you were instantly. If you stood behind the middle box that you had there then you would have survived in that instance. So remember when they're coming to you, just fall back, play passive, because at the end of the day, they have to plant the bomb, and the bomb was down in that situation. So we're moving to the next round. So you obviously um, won that round, luckily, anyway, so that's fine. So you bought an M4. Which is fine. Um, just having a look through money and uh, so they are clearly on eco, everyone else is on buy. You're black bought an orb for some reason. So you're playing apartments. Good. Right. So if you go into apartments here, yeah, good. So you seem very indecisive where you want to go. You want to just go to your position and play there. Okay, so you're peeking up long call, which is good. Okay. You're aiming pretty low. They're not going to be. You're, you're going to be shooting at their feet. So pre-aiming, you need to be a bit higher there. Definitely, um, it's too low at the moment. And um, they spotted you, so they've jumped over and got away with that. So you need to call to your teammate that there are going to be boiler sides. So now you've been hit. I would personally fall back now. They know where you are. If they had a grenade, they would have killed you. So you need to. Aggress them. If you don't get the pick, fall back again. You've been dinked now, so definitely you need to fall back into balcony. And I would do the complete opposite here. Even if they're on eco, you're going to get punished. And instantly, yeah. You need, to, again, the same iteration of uh, rule. Just play a bit more passively. And the pre-aiming um, needed to be a bit more adjusted there. So we'll move on to the next round. So you wanted me to have a look at uh, round 5. So we'll skip this one. Move over to this. So again, on a buy up round. Very nice knife. 
So you can see they've bought up as well. So that's absolutely fine. Move over. And we can see positioning is good. So you got two on B even. Get yourself into apartments. Good. You're a little bit more decisive. This pole is pretty useless now. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it. Okay, good. Move over. Jump into apartments eventually. Good. Again, you've got a very aggressive angle, which is fine. Um, you kind of want to play a bit more passive in general, though. Especially in apartments, because all they can have to do is rush you and you're dead. So, what I'd normally do is actually stand on the edge of the balcony, stand on the railing, and then you can watch both short or quads and um, anyone coming out of balcony. So here, you need to fall back a bit further and hold the corner. Hold that angle. So good, you got your preset aim, you got a corner shooting. This is a bit better on pre-aim. No, it's going down again. So focus on keeping it up. But this is fine where you are. You're obviously positioning it correctly here. And you take him out. Okay, so that's not too bad. We'll look at the next round and see how he gets on. Just uh, do this last round and then uh, give you an overall feedback. You've got a lovely AK. Just move into position a bit quicker, which is better. You're moving straight up there. You've got your AK. Being on this corner here is just in between you, and you can see the Russian banana, so won't be much use to you. You can see the position, you know, coming up into banana. They seem a bit confused by flashes, though. You can see that um, they don't know really what to do. So two full back, full back. And then there should be some aggression middle, but positioning on here is awful. Like, you shouldn't have that one boiler because it makes your position redundant. Okay, so he got, he's gone to balcony room. You can see there's been a pick on B. So, this should be the archer's guy to rotate. The wrong way to rotate. He's going to die for that. Wow. He's getting away with it. He shouldn't have done that at all. So, you appropriately take an aggressive stance which is good so here you should be able to get an opportunity to get a pick here you should just keep progressing you need to get behind them and backstab them your movement is very sporadic you don't seem to be decisive you need to just go check the corner duh, 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 and move on basically so your teammates should have called that they're coming up so you're moving across you can see the plant so what's going to happen here clutch situation and appropriately took him out well played so Good that you kind of addressed an aggressive position, um, but you have to be aware that if no one's holding the site, then it's your responsibility at the end of the day. Um, if no one else is going to do it, you may as well do it. But overall, good. What you need to focus on is definitely your crosshair placement. Um, it clearly shows that some of it wasn't correct. So think about where the head's going to be. That's what I always do. <clears throat> and then your aggressiveness when to appropriately peak and when not to so you kept re-peaking the same spot and for that you just got pre-fired shots and died so move your position once you're spotted and you can't get the kill but i hope that helped and until next time bye bye